When he was born in June 1899 in what's now called Ukraine, he was called Usher Felig. When his family moved to the United States 11 years later, he was called Arthur. And by the 1930s, when he became famous for chronicling all the infamy Manhattan could muster, he was known by a simple, single moniker, Ouija. For almost a century, Ouija has remained the best known of all the great New York photographers, the man who aimed his unblinking and unflinching eye at the blood and guts that decorated New York City for years. He made art of the gruesome, keepsakes of the grim. The man patrolled the streets of New York better than any cop, armed with a radio and a camera, and his studio stuffed literally into his trunk. He got to crime scenes first because he could see into the future, at least that's what his admirers used to say, hence the nickname Ouija, as in Ouija board. At least that's the myth that has been preserved and exaggerated in history books and films, including 1992's The Public Eye, starring Joe Pesci as a would-be Ouija, and Nightcrawler with Jake Gyllenhaal as a TV cameraman roaming the streets for awful stories in the dark of night. Once Ouija's work appeared on front pages of newspapers that subscribed to the editor's dictum of If it bleeds, it leads, and some of his rarest photos can now be yours for the very first time. Christopher George, the archivist who manages the Ouija collection at the International Center of Photography, told New York Magazine that these pictures constitute an extraordinary find. He said they were nothing less than discovering 73 unknown poems by Walt Whitman or unearthing a novella by Herman Melville. And these photos can be yours for the first time. They're available April 4th in 29 separate lots in Heritage Auctions, photography auction.